It just so happens to be that I was filming. <laughs> How are you? Good. Tommy. I'm, I'm Get off of there. Hanging out. Just hanging out. Feeling good morning. Nice. Actually, good evening. Oh, um, wow. Tommy, you cannot climb up there. Uh, Daddy is fixing our screen stuff. This is, I love these so much. We love them, except when you push down. Hey, it's working. It stops. Oh, yeah, you're well, trying wait. to fix it. This one's fixed. Hello. Oh, so Jared is doing some work over here at Tommy. I am going to take him inside because he's not listening. <laughs> the weather is amazing. Calvin's playing a game. Copper's enjoying watching him play a game. Penny's enjoying a little <laughs> snack. What do you want? Okay. What do you want? Say snack. Yes. Snack. Okay. Guys, don't tell the kids. Yes, we have a calm here. Oh my gosh. Yes, we have a calm here because I have to keep the kids from getting in the pantry all the time. I am giving you a snack that's going out while I get some dinner going. First, I wanna ask you guys how your New Year's goals or your New Year's resolutions have been going. The whole world has had like a uproar of our lives and situations. So I can imagine that a lot of us, our goals have honestly been a little shifted because of the world's circumstances with COVID-19. My goal has been to be intentional and it is five at night and I've been wanting to vlog this dinner that I've been making. And so tonight I'm making it and I wanted to show you guys what I'm making. It is so simple, it is so easy, and it's really yummy. Um, so, first, you gotta get your rice going. We are almost out of rice. This is the only rice that we have left. And so, in our food storage downstairs, we have two boxes of minute rice. And so, that's what I'm making right now, is I'm making some minute rice. So, the water is boiling, and then I'll get the rice situated. I'm making chicken rice teriyaki chicken, um, and then there's crushed pineapple on top. It is so good. Let me see if I have a bell pepper first. I don't think I do. Dang it. It's really good with that, but I just won't use it tonight. So this is what you need. I, you need chicken. This is my favorite chicken. I just buy the organic chicken breast from the store. It's a little more expensive, but that's like, my favorite kind of chicken. And then I salt and pepper it really good. I put it on the stove. I cook it for a few minutes. And then when it's about done, I start shredding it. And then I add the teriyaki sauce. This is the organic teriyaki sauce. This is just stuff that I really like at the store. So I make that. And then if you have a green bell pepper, it is so good to slice that up really thinly and put that with the chicken as it's like simmering at the very end. It's really good. Um, and then when everything's done, I just top it with a little bit of crushed pineapple. It is so good. So if you guys don't like pineapple, you're like, oh, this is a disgusting dish. You may not love it. But to me, it is so yummy, so fast, pretty easy. You usually have everything on hand except a bell pepper, unfortunately. I am a big believer that a lot of my cooking wear is what helps make my food taste really good because I don't like burn my meals on these two pans. I'm gonna link this below. This one is amazing. I cook all my chicken in this and then if I make something bigger, um, I will use my lodge pan. This is amazing. My mom got this for me when I very first got married and I had gone through my first one so quick. They last forever. I don't know what I did wrong, if I had put it in a dishwasher or something, but I ended up really ruining it. I think it's because I used a knife and I was cutting stuff and then it like cut through the enamel or whatever it is and then it rusted and then it like, it was bad. So anyway, um, this is an amazing bowl if you take good care of it. <laughs> so I will link those two down below. So my chicken's cooking, my rice is almost done, and I'm very, very excited for dinner. Okay. You want dad? Okay. Yeah, but you keep climbing up the ladder, that's that thing. Okay. What? <laughs> Look at his curls, guys. So the other day on Instagram, 
I said, Tommy's hair is air dried and he had so many curls. And I had a few DMs and they're like, you blow dry his hair? And I think I meant to say, I just didn't comb his hair after I bathed him. So that's what I meant by air dry. Are you gonna go outside? He learned how to open doors today. It's like one of the hardest things as a parent when the kids learn how to open their door. Um, but I need to cut everyone's hair. Hi. You need a little haircut, just a little, because I love those waves. Did you say that today is a day that will live in infamy? What? Tommy What's going can on? Now open oh doors. yeah. Just wait until he crawls out of the crib. It's like we're instantly going into yeah. kid mode now with him. It's kind of hard. I really love the baby stage. Toddlers are super fun though. You're a fun little toddler. Oh, is that a kitty cat? What does a kitty cat say? Meow. Meow. What does a doggy say? Say roof, roof. What does the cow say? Say moo. <laughs> so a lot of stores are lightening up as far as social distancing goes in May for Utah. And I don't have any crazy plans of up and going anywhere right now, um, but we still are trying to keep our distance and I, we're trying not to go to the store very much. And we're trying to eat the food that we already have. So today it was like, what are we gonna eat? The other day we ordered in Costa Vida and we just, I really knew we needed to not eat out because then we ate McDonald's the day before. Um, so Jared went and got milk today and bread and then I went downstairs in our cold storage room and then we have two big things of tuna fish down there. And so we're gonna eat tuna fish for lunch until the tuna fish is gone. Like, so maybe the next month for lunch, we're eating tuna fish. Um, that way we're like going through a lot of the food that we already have downstairs. I do like to get a lot of pineapple stuff because I love making that chicken and rice. Oh, I think I'm almost out of coconut milk. I love using coconut milk for smoothies or um, acai bowls. I'll do a little bit of pineapple juice, some coconut milk, a whole bunch of fruit and avocado, and I'll make an acai bowl. I haven't done that for a while. So we're trying to eat up the food that we have. We're about out of chicken. So in, oh, now the lighting is blue. But in our freezer, we have a lot of like fast food junk in there, like pizza bites and stuff. But we also have a little bit of meat in there that we are finishing cooking up. So that's what we've been doing lately as far as food. We have gone out to eat a little bit. We've gone through drive throughs but we also are trying to eat up the food that we have. Hence why I don't have a stinking green bell pepper. Green bell peppers are so good. If you guys make this dish, make sure to use a green bell pepper. Tomorrow for dinner, I already grabbed these. Before these go bad, these have been in my pantry. We are going to put some refried beans, some cheese, and some leftover chicken, and make kind of like quesadillas tomorrow with that. So that's what I'm gonna use the leftover chicken for today is for tomorrow's dinner. Nothing is more frustrating than when something isn't working that absolutely should, for all intents and purposes, should be working. These blinds were not working and have not worked for some time now. You would push a button down and it only go down like six inches. And then you'd push it down again and it'd go down six inches. And then once you got it down to your desired length, it would automatically go back up after a certain amount of time. It was super frustrating. I called the people who installed it. They couldn't talk to me over the phone for some reason. They were like, we have to schedule an appointment. We're a few weeks out. I'm like, oh, I gotta figure this out right now. This one right here was stuck all the way down here when I was trying to get it figured out. So from yesterday, this one has been down and the winds have been pretty strong. So it hasn't been working out. I finally figured it out, guys. I finally was able to interpret the manual, the instructions, which was really hard to find on the internet. And they weren't really that good at describing what my problem was. It told you how to do the functions of the remote, but it was all over the place. Anyway, watch this. After hours and hours of figuring this out. Can I get all three? Here we go. One, two. Bum, ba -da bum, 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 bum. They finally work and they are in sync. There's an intermediate position, so it'll stop halfway just above my height so we can walk through. And there's also the end position, which will go all the way down. So this will be a nice blocked off area. But you guys already know that if you've been following us for some time, we've had these installed for a few years now. 
<sighs> but it's finally warming up so we can use these and utilize these to block out the sun. Look, they're going all the way down. Here we go. And three, two, one, stop. Ha <laughs> ha, I did it guys. There's nothing more satisfying than figuring out the issue to why something wasn't working. And I have done it, ladies and gents. Tipping my hat to myself. Can you tip your hat to yourself, my lady? Fedora, oh my gosh, internet memes coming into the Ellie and Jared YouTube channel. What's happening? Oh, sorry dogs. <laughs> sorry, do you want me to let you in? Here you go. <laughs> Come on, copper. Maybe I should have like a dog mode where it stops like two feet above. What do you think, mister? Is it just as good as you would like it? Let's see you take one more bite sitting at the big boy table. Scooping yeah. your food on the floor. Oh, that's good. The presentation is not amazing, but guys, it's good. Rice, teriyaki chicken, some pineapple. If you wanted to add some onions, bell pepper, broccoli, whatever you want, it'll be good, but this is the base. I like it, is that's it okay? so good, oh yeah, that's so good. Go out and eat, no! Don't eat, no, don't beat his food. Come on now, we'll clean that up later. Come on dogs. Go eat. Jared, did you have minute rice growing up? Did you have rice aroni? Or oh. what, what did you eat growing up? Oh my gosh, that brought back memory lane. We had chicken rice aroni. All of the time. We had to get the family box and we would have to get like two family size boxes because we loved it so much. We need to get some like ASAP. Like that is so amazing <laughs> that you thought of that. Well, I was asking because since Jared and I have been married, we've used our like little black and decker rice cooker. It's, it was the best wedding gift we've had. We've Ten used it <laughs> so much. And today I was really sad when I didn't have enough rice to make it. But always growing up, we, I always saw the minute rice in my cupboards growing up. So it's funny how you remember things when you see them, but like I would never have thought, oh, that's the rice my mom made growing up. But now that I'm using it right now, I'm like, oh my gosh, that brings back so many memories. I don't think it's good. It's not as good, but it works. It's a good meal. I like it. It's feeding us. Is it okay? Everyone is like red. You don't like it? Why? Chicken. Okay, well, well, yeah. that's what's for dinner. <laughs> okay, Copper. Hey, no. That's, that's hilarious. Copper. You funny doggy. Our dog, oh. <laughs> what is going on? He's like, make room for me. Oh I'm my, there. look, he just yeah. moved. <laughs> Penny just moved Copper with her mouth. <laughs> she knows she rules. Oh look, and her poor tail is hitting his head. She's like, save me, save me. Isn't this the best? Just this is the here. best. It it's feels really good. The kids are asleep, their tummies are full. We wiped up the kitchen. Um, could you hear Tommy laughing as I put him to bed? I heard you guys laughing so hard and singing. Uh. Some nights when I put the kids to bed, it's like, Mom's done for the day. <laughs> Close your eyes. Good night. No more stories. Good night. I'm done. Like I, this is I, I say often. Mom's done for the day. <laughs> like that's what I say. Tonight was different. Like, I really enjoyed putting the kids to bed. I enjoyed laughing with Tommy, singing with him. So yeah, it was just really nice. And now we're just hanging out with the doggies and getting some work done and doing some planning. And it just feels really good outside for it to be really warm. And I'm loving it. Look at her wait so patiently for Jared. She's waiting. Penny, okay. What a good girl. Jared is bringing her a treat because she and Copper are arguing over this little toy treat. Whoa, did you see that treat? Whoa, go get it Copper. I bet she'll share. That's huge. That bone is bigger than Copper. Oh my goodness. I think we've had that since Christmas. Mm -hmm. Copper, here you go. Penny took it. Well, Penny's like, okay, Copper, you can have some. Aww. Get 
squat. She's gonna jump up on here with it and just whack us. us. There they're off. <laughs> Kids are in bed, dogs are happy. Now we can talk. Get down to business. We usually don't have to separate the dogs, but I really think Penny is getting annoyed and I do not want her to be annoyed. And so we're gonna move Copper <laughs> away from her for a minute. Um, thank you guys so much for watching the vlog today. I really wanted to show you guys what we were making for dinner. We kind of did like a night vlog, which is a little different. Usually we just like film in the day, but I really enjoyed this. So thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye.